Hi. Resident Evil 5 Hi. is the latest entry in the Resident Evil series. Um, it is going to be the pinnacle of the survival horror genre. And the uh, story that takes place in the game is we're going to solve the mystery of the progenitor virus which has caused uh, so much trouble throughout the, uh, throughout the series so far. I knew it from the moment I arrived. There's no reason here. No humanity. As Resident Evil 5 takes place uh, after 4, Umbrella has already gone under. The virus that appears in uh, Resident Evil 5 um, looks a little bit similar to the one in Resident Evil 4, but uh, it is actually different. And uh, the mysteries of that and uh, how it all relates to the uh, progenitor virus from where uh, everything began uh, will be cleared up as you play the game. But uh, we can tell you that uh, the uh, gameplay is a continuation of that that you enjoyed in Resident Evil 4, uh, but there is uh, a lot of new content in there and a lot of new things that you're going to be able to experience. Uh, the location in Africa is not actually a real place, it is a, a fictional place that we have created, created for the purposes of this game. Um, we did go to Africa to uh, take a lot of material and uh, you know do a lot of research, but uh, the place itself is uh, somewhere that does not exist. You will see some interesting creatures in uh, Resident Evil 5, that's for sure. Rather than uh, say exactly what they are, uh, they will be uh, things that have been uh, changed and have been warped by the, uh, the parasite that you uh, probably have seen uh, in the trailer. So I uh, look forward to seeing those in the game. All I can tell you about her for the moment is please wait for E3. No worries. My last partner was a woman too. The amount of contents and the amount of things that are in the game, obviously a lot bigger. Obviously you can see that the graphics have made huge leaps forward as well. There is uh, some new elements in there that are unique to this game, but uh, like I say, you're going to have to wait until E3 until we can tell you about that. But the stage that we showed in the demo today, uh, it's uh, very early on uh, in the game. Uh, that stage is actually about four times larger than the village that appears at the start of Resident Evil 4. Um, I can also tell you a little bit about the weapons. There are going to be over 20 weapons that you'll be able to use in the game. And um, in terms of uh, the gameplay itself, we estimate that you will be able to enjoy this game for over 20 hours. In terms of the real-time uh, weapons change, uh, that was something that we had in the demo today, but uh, actually we're not uh, entirely sure if that's going to be something we're going to have in the full game, so uh, please don't take that as being confirmed just yet. Um, as for the uh, green herbs, uh, that is one uh, strange plant, seems to grow wherever you go in the world, so uh, we're sure it will appear in Resident Evil 5 as well. As far as the merchant goes, uh, he's pretty popular. Um, we know a lot of fans out there like him. I can't actually say uh, whether he's going to appear in this game or not, though, right at the moment. But um, I can tell you that there will be, uh, of course, a weapons upgrade system available in the game. I can tell you that uh, you will be able to get your hands on some uh, pretty interesting weaponry uh, through some uh, interesting methods. The enemy carrying the large axe that appeared in the demo today. Uh, unfortunately he's not in the trailer so uh, maybe you guys in the public have not seen exactly what this uh, character is just yet but he's going to be a pretty important enemy who will appear uh, several times uh, in the game and he's going to be one of the characters who's going to try and uh, chase you down and finish you off. As far as uh, you know, a, a dodging system, you know, I've, I've heard rumors uh, about that, but uh, all I've heard is rumors. So um, if I haven't heard about it, it's uh, probably not actually in the game. But um, I can tell you that the uh, the quick time events uh, that appear in the game with the action button, um, there will be uh, more of those from uh, than before, and there will be uh, some interesting ways to use those too. I can't tell you exactly uh, about that, uh, that last frame, exactly what that is, but I can tell you that uh, the answer is going to be pretty interesting when we finally reveal it. That scene in particular where you're holding uh, the lantern, that is a uh, very particular scene in the game and actually a scene where you have to uh, use the light or else you won't be able to clear it. So uh, that's pretty much all I can tell you about that for the moment. We can tell you that the game will definitely be out for March 31st, 2009. At E3, you may see another mysterious character. Um, I think when you see the uh, graphics for that character, a lot of fans may uh, be asking questions about who they are. 